is Isabella Enns. My gender is female, and my sexual orientation is pansexual. All right. When did you last? When did you come out? I came out around seventh grade when I thought I was bi at the time, um, and around freshman year of high school, I figured out that pansexual applied more to me. Can you explain what pansexual is a little bit more to us? Uh, pansexual is basically gender blind, so it's the ability to be attracted to all genders while gender doesn't really make a difference in whether or not you'd be attracted to someone. Okay. Um, do you feel safe here at Como being who you are? Uh, yeah, I feel safe. I feel like um, boys probably have a harder time being out than girls do because there's just the whole guys wanting to see lesbians kiss people and all that. Uh, so yeah, as a female, I think I feel pretty safe here. Do you believe that uh, St. Paul Public Schools um, is accepting of your sexual orientation as it com when it comes to like um, curriculum here at school or awareness? Yeah, I think they do because um, I've seen a lot of uh, we accept trans stickers on the windows of classrooms and uh, I've had a couple teachers just casually mention uh, homosexuality and all that so I think that they seem pretty accepting of it. They don't make a big deal out of it. So have you ever been bullied either at school or outside of school because of your sexual orientation? Uh, yeah, in about, it was either eighth grade or ninth grade, um, there was this girl that I was having a fight with and we were friends at the time, so she knew stuff about me and she called me a dyke because I happened to like girls when that's really inaccurate because I like everyone. Um, do you um, see a lot of bullying towards LGBT people either at school or outside of it? Uh, yeah, I see a lot of stuff online more than I see in person, but um, there's definitely, I have friends that have had people just come up to them and call them names and stuff. Uh, but it seems to be more of guys that get the uh, name calling and picked on and all the stuff. Girls just it doesn't come out as much. Do you think if you were more aware, they would kind of, like the bullying would kind of lessen a yeah, lot more? Definitely, um, because I feel like a lot of the reason that people get bullied for this is just that most people are really unaware of just how simple it is just to understand that some people love people of the same gender or multiple people of different genders and if they just understood that it's not as big of a deal as it seems like it is in the media that they're making out like gay is weird or something like that then I think everyone would calm down a lot if they just thought of it as like your name rather than some big thing you're weird yeah. because of it. Is there anything you think people should know about LGBT to make it, I don't know, more accepting, like people to be more accepting of each other? Um, Less than the bullying, all that kind of thing. Being gay is okay. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you can't choose your sexual orientation. I don't know anyone that would think that someone would choose to get all this harassment and stuff intentionally, but you can't choose it. It's just part of who you are, uh, and uh, there's nothing wrong with whoever you're attracted to. My name is Garrett Izagari, and I'm bisexual. Um, have you come out yet? Yes. You have? Okay. Uh, was it hard to do? No, not really. Um, Aside from uh, coming out with my family, which I still haven't done yet, but they're people of an uh, older time, so they wouldn't understand properly. Um, are you ever afraid what's what will happen when they eventually find out? A little bit, yes, because, you know, they're my family, and, you know, I love them, and I don't want to, like be disowned or anything, but also at the same time, I, I feel like I'd be more comfortable with my family if I came out to them. Is there anything you think people should know about, you know, LGBT teens here, either here in Como or just in general? I feel people should know that just because they're gay, trans, bi, whatever, that doesn't, like, make them, like, the stereotypical kind of gay that people see on like media it's like the flamboyant kind of flaunting things in your face kind of gay 
the people aren't like that. I don't know where they get the stereotype, and I don't understand how they how people came up with it. But you should know that LGBT teen, LGBT teens are not like that. There's they're not like that whatsoever. What happens if somebody calls you something like offensive, like even friends, like not just strangers? Like, um, how do you feel about that kind of thing? It doesn't matter to me, really. If it's my friends, I know they don't mean it in an offensive way. I know they're joking around, and it's you, you know, they'll they'll like we'll we'll be kidding around, and you know, like they'll call they'll call me faggot or whatever. But it's like for them, I don't really care because they're my friends and they mean it as a joke. But for other people, it once again doesn't matter because what do I care about what they have to say? I'm happier because I'm one with, I want to say one with myself. Has anybody called you something offensive like that outside of your friends? Outside of my friends? Yes. I've, there was one time I was sitting at lunch, my friends were goofing off somewhere else and a guy randomly came up to me and called me a faggot and walked away. But once again, whatever. Uh, can you explain what the GSA is and what it's about? The GSA is a, a gay straight alliance, and so it's a group of students that get together every two weeks. We meet on Thursdays. Um, they are gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, questioning youth, and they're allies. So students that are straight that are wanting to support um, the other kids. And so we get together and just talk and try to support one another in the issues that come up. Okay, what is your goal as an organization? The goal is to support and educate all students and, and make um, the school a safer uh, place to be and a better climate. Okay. Uh, what do LGBT teens face in the public school, school system after they come out? Mm. They face, sometimes they face rejection from friends or from, from family. Sometimes they are bullied. Sometimes they are called names. Um, sometimes there's violence that happens because uh, that they have come out. Um, what other kinds of things? Loss of self-esteem is sometimes an issue. So many things come up when they when they come out. Oh, and even with all of these things that happen to them, why do they still come out in high school when they know this is a possibility that might happen? Well, I think sometimes they feel safer because it's a, a school environment and there's people around that they can get some support from. Um, so I think that sometimes that's why they come out. I think sometimes they're outed by other people and, you know, they are, they come out because they, you know, they are outed and they have to. Um, so the big thing is, is that they're, they are uh, supported by their friends, their teachers, other staff here in the building, and the GSA tries to support students too. And um, what do you think people need to know about their LGBT? peers to make them feel more included and part of the community? I think it's it's helpful just to know what the issues are and to educate yourself so you're aware of, of what the issues are. Um, I think it's important to confront um, speech, hate speech, you know, name calling kinds of things when you see it. Um, and I think it's, you know, important to um, keep confidential any information that your friends are giving you so you're not spreading it all around to everybody else. Um, and then just do whatever you can do to support students and staff here in the building. All, right, thank you. all these statistics show that LGBT teens still face a lot of injustice and need our help. Anyone can help and show support by being aware, respectful, and kind.